Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about an app that I reviewed before, but that was the old version. There's a new completely changed updated version and it is great. It's called Widgesoid. Right before I get to that, I do want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com, which is the best place on the internet to get really cool NFC tags and NFC keychains for use with your Android NFC phone. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review and check out all the cool stuff they have over there. So Widgetsoid, I did review this app before and uh, it was basic, it's basically an app that allows you to create toggles, either toggle widgets, or what I was using it for is a toggle notification bar in my notification. Now, a recent version of Androids uh, uh, have their own notification toggles. I have the Galaxy S3. Um, however, on the version of Android that I'm on, the, or the version of the Galaxy S3 that I'm on, I still can't change my toggles. Um, I'm supposed to be able to in a future update, but right now I can't. And with Widget Sword, not only can you change your toggles, but what you can change it to is unlimited. And so uh, you'll see, I have two rows of uh, Widget Sword notifications. Now also in the Donate or Pro version of Widget Sword, you get a sidebar application that allows you to swipe up, and then by swiping up or swiping, depending on where you put your little swipe bar, swiping from a, from a corner, it opens up uh, uh, a panel, and from that panel you can, again, do toggles, launch apps, shortcuts, task or task, bunch of different things. Anyway, this app on my phone was able to replace two other apps I had, and uses about one-fifth of the total resources that those apps were using does the same thing. So I'm going to stop talking about it, I'm going to hop on my phone, I'm going to show you how it works, why it's uh, so great and uh, definitely something I would recommend picking up for your phone. So here we are on my phone and here's the app Widget Soy. Before I actually open the app and go inside the app, I want to show you what uh, it does on my phone because I think that's the most impressive thing, the easiest way to learn. Uh, a lot of what it can do. So if I pull down my notification, you'll see these two notification bars right there. Uh, and those are both created in Widget Soy. And what's awesome is some of them are settings things, such as turning off Wi-Fi or bringing up sound options. But then uh, the other ones are things that maybe you could not do in a normal notification bar. And you'll see here uh, that one is to uh, update my Facebook post. Uh, that one's a flashlight. This one is to open the app Tasker. Uh, this opens my camera app. Uh, this triggers a Tasker task to uh, set my uh, volume levels to what I want them to be at night and also my brightness level. Um, so several different, lots of different things you can do. This will open up settings to see running apps. Uh, and this will open up my battery so I can see what's eating up the battery. So that's one thing that it does. Another thing that it does is it allows, I have a uh, thing set up so that if I drag up here, you can see I have this panel and I have similarly have open, some of these are shortcuts, some of these are apps. Uh, you could also do, um, uh, sound uh, or toggles, any kind of toggles you want to do you could put on here and that's accessible to me anywhere I am just from dragging up from the bottom left of my screen and you can do that from bottom left, bottom right, side left, top side right, top side left, um, lots of different options for you there. Uh, so now let's go into the app and I'll and the other third thing that you can do which I don't use it for, but is just another thing you can do, is you can create widgets. So if you open a widget, you can see I don't have any widgets, uh, but it tells you how to create the widgets uh, and edit them. And then you have uh, notifications, and you'll see that's what I have with my notifications. I have one and I have two. 
Um, you'll see I've made it so that they're all the same color. That's all done within the app. I don't have to do any special icon color changing thing on my desktop or anything. This is all done within the app. You can, uh, uh, and some of these options are, this is, I do have the donate version or the pro version. And that's what I'm reviewing because that's what has all of these features. And uh, you'll see if, uh, if I were to add something. Uh, if you add a new toggle, you'll see all the different toggles you have. Um, 4G airplane mode, screen on, launch an application, enable disable lock screen, battery, battery temperature, Bluetooth, bookmark, brightness, clear cache, show a clock, execute a, uh, uh, a command, uh, contact, uh, CPU frequency, CPU usage, create a custom toggle so it will toggle a lot of different things at one time based on what the custom that you create uh, data sync data sync now uh, do nothing if you want it to just be empty facebook um, create a shortcut to any file flashlight gps haptic feedback home shortcuts so it allows you to launch any shortcuts that you could put on your home screen that's why i used to launch task or task uh, Keep device awake, locale, lock buttons, lock pattern, lock stream, media scanner, mobile, data, next, and a song, uh, media player, um, NFC, enable or disable, orientation, phone memory, play pause previous, the RAM, reboot, recorder, ring mode, screen timeout, SD card, SD card memory, signal strength, silent, speaker, swipe, tasker task. Actually, I forgot that in this app, I don't have to use home shortcuts because I can use tasker task. Um, tether USB, Twitter, USB debugging, USB storage, vibrate, volume control, show the weather, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, and Wi-Fi network. So those are a lot of different things that you can see. And you can, if you want to just narrow it down to certain things you can. Right now I have them all displaying. So let's go back. And then after you've done that, you can go to theme and that's where you can change things uh, if you press on settings you can edit the label you can move it it's order you can change the icon or you can go to settings and you can change the refresh interval uh, you can also choose what app like for this for example uh, you can choose what app you want it to launch on a click if you go to advanced you can choose different things notification on top notification icon two rows uh, if you want a second row buttons, um, modifiable. Now, two rows means that this this is two separate notifications. Two rows would be two rows on one notification, so it'd be smaller and have two rows. Uh, modifiable. If you want it there to be a little button on the bar that allows you to go straight into it, modifying or changing it, default state, and then. Uh, widget name and so if you create this as a widget then it'll show up in your widgets so that you can uh, uh, modify it and use it as a widget and then if you go to uh, profiles you can set save this as a profile and then you click apply which I'm not going to do any of that because I don't want to do any of that right now now let's go to advanced and you'll see enable swipe mode and that's this part you see the little blue bar at the bottom of my screen there, um, and that shows your area. And you can change the size of it. You can have it be as big or as small as what you think is good for you. I have mine set at 1.5. And you can choose bottom left. You can have it be uh, top right vertically. So now it's up here, and you would swipe this way. So you can have it be wherever... Uh, uh, you want it to be and then uh, swipe screen state so you can have it disable when the screen is off and enable it when the screen is on uh, I just have it always on uh, then there's global preferences so the uh, widget visibilities run the service in the background which you'll want to do in order to keep things always active and administrative access uh, and then you can back up and you can restore one thing I definitely want to show you about this app that uh, is really impressive 
Um, I'm going to click the RAM button and you'll see widget sword somewhere in this list. You'll see right now it's using 17 megabytes of RAM. That is it. Now this app replaced for me another app I reviewed before called One Tap Settings, which I used used to use for notification. It didn't have near the features that Widget Sword has. Um, it also cost more for the pro version. And when it was running, it was often using way more memory. Uh, I want to say that it averaged between 25 and 30 megabytes of memory just for the notification. Then I was also using an app Wave Launcher, which I reviewed before, to do this feature. And while it was a great app, it was averaging anywhere from 60 to about 80 megabytes of RAM at any given point in time. And here you have Widget Soy doing both of those things and only using, right now, 19 megabytes of RAM. Sometimes it's as low as 10. Averages between 10 and 20. So, not only is this app a great app in terms of what you can do with it, but also in terms of the way it uses your resources. It allows you to do a lot, but it doesn't take up a lot of your resources, which is just going to be better for, for you and your phone. Um, you do have an info button, so you can get uh, info on your phone, your battery, network, and memory. And then you have a FAC button which will take you to the facts page and you can watch tutorials and just lots of uh, general questions and answers and information about Widget Soy. Um, but it's a great app. Uh, you might have noticed that up in the top of my phone there there's a little uh, Widget Soy on ongoing notification. There you go, in the top left. And, uh, even that's cool. Usually when I have apps that have ongoing notifications, I go into application settings and turn, turn it so that even though it's, it is an ongoing notification, it doesn't show because I don't want to see the icon in my, uh, uh, in my tray. But with Widget Soid, it's actually a cool little Android guy. So I don't mind having him up there. And it, uh, uh, it, everything about this app is really top notch. Um, one of the best uh, best apps, uh, definitely for any Android phone. Um, I just gave you a brief overview of the various things you can do. I didn't show you a lot about the widgets, but as I said, you can create uh, widgets that will, uh, like a toggle widget to put on your home screen. So it would be similar to the notification, but it would just go on your home screen and allow you to toggle things or launch things as well. So anyway, that's uh, Widget Soy. That was the app Widget Soid, the new version for ICS and Jelly Bean. And as you can see, it is a really cool app. There's a lot of really cool things. Um, and best of all, it, it's very good on resources. It doesn't use much RAM at all. I don't know how it can do so much with so little RAM, but that's just, a, a, I guess, a testament to how good the developer is and how hard he works at making his app great. So check it out on the Google Play Store. If you like this review, please click the like button. Uh, you can share it uh, with any of your friends or family who have Android phones and you think might benefit uh, from having this app. Do that with Facebook, Google+, Twitter, email, etc., etc. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with other really cool and great apps that will help you make the most of your phone. Anyway, that's it until next time. Just want to remind you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.